today, our answer to what's been happening within the crowd market. Uh, as many of you are aware, crowd prices are going crazy, and because of that, we knew we couldn't, didn't want to take the crab cake off the menu, but it's gotten to a point that we're going to offer a substitute, and we're doing a seafood cake. It's very similar to our crab cake, except that we're changing from crab meat to samahi, scallops, and shrimp. But let me show you how we make the mix that holds the crab cake together. So I'm going to take one cup of mayonnaise. Quarter cup of, we use liquid egg, or if you were to crack an egg, it would be about two whole eggs, uh, four ounces. And then I'm also going to add a tablespoon of hot sauce. Uh, we use uh, Tabasco. I'm also going to add one teaspoon of lemon juice. A teaspoon of A1 steak sauce, believe it or not. Uh, about two ounces, or I'm sorry, one ounce of Dijon mustard. And one quarter cup of Old Bay seasoning. And I'm going to take this and we're going to mix it all together. And that's all set. I'm going to set that aside for right now. Now what I'm going to do for the rest of the seafood cake, I'm going to take, I've pre-cooked 8 ounces of shrimp, 8 ounces of scallop, and 8 ounces of mahi-mahi. We're using a third, a third, a third for the ratio on the mixing on the meat. So my 8 ounces of shrimp, I'm adding 8 ounces of scallop pieces and chunks, and I'm going to take my eight ounces of mahi, and I'm going to flake that up a little bit. It's been cooked, so it just flakes right apart in my hands. And now I'm going to take some of the mix, but I'm going to add just about half of that mix. And I'm going to mix it with my hands and making sure it's, it's wet enough that I would like it, which is good there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a quarter cup of panko breadcrumbs and a good pinch of parsley. and I'm just gonna ha gently hand mix that. Now if it was crab, again, you would gently mix it so you don't wanna break up all your lump. Here, I'm still trying to maintain some of that chunkiness on the fish and my scallops. And then we will let that sit for about 20 minutes or overnight if we can. It'll let that moisture soak in with the kind of bread crumbs. It just helps to hold it together while it's cooking. Now that my crab cake mix is sat overnight in the refrigerator, I'm going to scoop it out. And what we use is, in, a, in the industry, we use what's called a number six scoop. Uh, and that's what you use for ice cream and such. But I take a good scoop, pack it down in, and then we scoop it down onto a pan. And the number six scoop, it so happens to work out here that the weight is going to be right about six ounces now on this. 
and as you can see that half a pound on each will end up giving me pretty close to four very nice sized seafood cakes. So now I will take these and I'm going to put them in the oven, we do like 350 degree convection oven for about 12 to 15 minutes depending on the color that you would like. At home if you were doing it in a regular oven, you'd want to be at about 400 degrees and it's going to be 15 to 20 minutes time at that point. In the oven, we're just going to take it off of the baking pan and slide it onto a plate and at which point we will serve it with powder sauce and lemon if you would like. And this will be available in the bistro and the cafe next, this week, on Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Thank you, and hope you enjoy this as much as you would have enjoyed a crab cake, and I think you will. Thank you.